Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 92 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. I'm hanging out, getting ready to uh, force manipulatively move my giant tank of biomass. I already moved my experience tank, as you can see. It seems like it moved pretty smoothly, so now I'm being all risky and moving my iron tank of biomass. So while that's cruising, I'll give you guys a little update on some of the things I've done. I've been slowly but surely moving things out of my old base. As a matter of fact, it's probably about time that I move my blast furnace too. That might not be a terrible idea. Um... Some things I've been teleporting, other things I've been moving manually, obviously, just because if it's easy to move manually, I recommend doing that, as I've said a couple times. Um, but if it's something that, like, you know what, that would be a giant hassle to have to empty out those tanks and store it somewhere and yada, 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 yada. At the end of the day, it's really not something I feel like dealing with, so I figured let's try teleporting it. Seems like it worked pretty well, so I'm happy with that. Um, ooh, this is my setup for the potions thing, huh? That's right. I should probably remember how that works, because I have no idea what I did to set that up. I'll kind of leave that for now, as well as the pre-configured import bus. And I'll, I'll move this piece later. Hey, that's not where you're supposed to go. There we go. So that's what we'll do with that thing. Uh, what I'm doing right now is waiting for this thing to teleport, actually. Should be actually about done. Oh yeah, about 30 seconds left, and then we'll have uh, a little bit of a teleport action going on here. Cool. As you can see, the power for that teleport's coming from the thing that's underneath my uh, farm there. What I think I want to work on today, though, is the Thaumcraft room. Uh, I do want to move over my whole Thaumcraft setup, and I'd like it to like be really cool looking, so it's going to be one of the first rooms that I designed from like a I want this to look awesome perspective, while at the same time, um, I need it to be functional still. So I have a couple ideas on how that's going to work. Oh nice, it moved. Keep in mind, sometimes, especially I've noticed this with micro blocks, I don't know if, what the deal is, or, or, uh, or, or multi blocks, um, I've noticed that sometimes it leaves behind a block, even though it did actually successfully teleport it. I guess it's mostly been with the Railcraft stuff and the multi-block stuff from Railcraft, so I don't know if it's Railcraft related or if it's multi-block related or what the deal is. Uh, where is it? I added a new elevator in my base here and right there. Nice. We made it. Cool. Good job, Iron Tank. I like that. How cool is that that I can teleport those blocks around? I don't know. I'm geeking out a little bit from that. I think it's just awesome. Uh, let me clean up my inventory a bit and let's decide where I want to have um, this room. So I'll reconfigure my XP shower and grate and all that stuff in a bit. Let me just clean this up. Block of iron, blast furnace. I should hook up a blast furnace somewhere. Debating what that should be. I should also get some lighting into this area. I actually have a better plan than actually just lighting it up. It just requires a little bit more work, so I've not gotten around to it yet, but it's on my to-do list. Um, let's see. For now, I guess I'll go install this thing. I'll put it right here for now. I don't believe that I'll be able to handle this directly. Ah, cool. All oh, right, I need the on-off switch, don't I? I don't think I have the lever on me. Yeah, I left it there. No biggie. For now, I'm just gonna stick this guy right there. Actually, he should be on the XP tank, shouldn't he? What's cool about these tanks from um, open blocks is they store their liquid when you break them, so that's kind of nice at least. Alright, for now that's good. I'll, when I need it, remember, oh right, I have to configure that properly. Uh, where do I want my blast furnace? I could probably just stick it right about here. I want to make sure that wherever I put this thing, it's not intruding on anything that I've already got set up. Maybe if I set it into the wall here. That might not be terrible. As a matter of fact, it might be really cool. There we go. Oh, I also moved over some of my auto crafting stuff. Yeah. So, uh, some of the thermal expansion auto crafting stuff. So that's a blast furnace, that's looking good. I can reconfigure him with the export bus that I had. So where's that pre-configured export bus? And we should probably have an import bus here as well. And some cabling just in case. All 
I'll show you the little bit of wiring I did underneath. I just ran um, some cable over here to power the machines, etc. Nothing exciting. I, I promise you guys didn't really miss anything terribly exhilarating off camera. So that's the charcoal guy. I like how it remembers what it was pre-configured to handle. Cool. And then uh, let's get an import bus going here. I don't know for sure if the import bus will work like this, but we'll see. And where's my iron blocks? There we go, block of iron. Start cooking that up and we'll find out pretty soon if uh, the import bus will pull from the bottom like that. All right, so that doesn't look bad. I like it. All right, so where should the Thalmcraft room go? That's a really good question. Um, let me figure that out. I think I'll want it somewhere nearby. All right, guys, I think I've mapped out a pretty decent looking room. Tell me what you think. Maybe right here. Yeah, it's really big, but of course we've got like all the multi-blocks from Thalmcraft and all the stuff that we're going to need. So let's get it built out first and then we'll fancy it up. So all I got to do now that I've like, I'm happy with the way it works, is plop in the field stabilizer module and away it goes. Nice. Back in a few when it's done building. Hopefully I've got enough brick in here to handle that. Yeah, I do. Alright guys, we are back and I'm destroying my Thalmcraft room. Don't worry, I'll put it all back together, hopefully, if I can remember how exactly. Uh, this will actually give me a good um, opportunity to fix my aspect code, because a couple of you have mentioned, and I've found that to be true, uh, my aspect code is currently not working. So that's something I'll have to fix up. Uh, right now, as you can see, I'm using one of these hardened strong boxes to help me transport whatever items I have. Um, you, though, may be a problem. How about... This guy, dislocation focus. Oh, out of juice. There we go. While that's filling up, I'll do this part. So right now, like I said, just grabbing everything and anything I need. And it goes right here into the strong box. Cool. These strong boxes, super handy for when you're moving. All right, so that's all that. Now for you, I'll just take the whole thing. How's this thing almost done? Probably. The strong box actually is getting pretty full at this point, so I should probably consider moving it. There we go. Currently dislocating extra contents. Cool. I'm actually going to put you back on there because you have some more recharging to do. That thing's actually pretty low. This room is actually almost cleaned up, and as you can see, I've got a little beam going on here. I'm thinking about trying to move my aura nodes by way of MFFS. It should work. I, I mean, they're really just blocks. So we're going to give that a try, and hopefully I don't crash the server. You never know. But actually, I did test it a little bit in single player first, and it worked out all right. So see what happens. Boy, oh boy, I have a lot of junk in this room, don't I? All right. There we go. So that looks all tidied up. Not bad. Anything else I really need to bring with me? I can't honestly think of much else. Oh, yeah, I want you. Come here, you. You're going to light up my new room so that we don't get mobs spawning in it. See? Already getting dark in here. <laughs> Should probably light it up a little bit. All right, let's give this a try now. So what I want to do is I have to figure out exactly where I want to link it to. But at the very least, I need to translate up one... And that'll get this guy. And then we want to scale up like four blocks. And then we'll probably also want to scale up See, that's too much. We actually just want two on all sides there. See how it looks like it's grabbing and moving all those guys? So getting everything? It does look like it's getting everything, right? 
Just make sure it's grabbing these. Yeah, I think it is. So that's what we're going to do. Don't want it to move you. Not that I think it would be a problem, but that should be all right. So now I just have to figure out back at my new base where I want this thing to get set up. So let's start by placing down some of the blocks that we're going to have in the new base. And like I said, we'll fix the whole mob spawning in here like they shouldn't be thing in a bit. Um, first off, I guess we could find a nice center point for this room. Is that about the center? Nine. 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 Ha! Huh, I've gotten really good at finding the exact center of a room. Alright, so that should keep things lit up well enough. And those things will start to disappear as the light spreads out. Remember, it takes a bit for the light to propagate around the room, so that should be cool. And let's say you go away because you're a hassle. Actually, I'm thinking maybe that should be like the center point. We'll stick with that. And that'll be where we build this nifty gadget. So I think it's something like you, not you. All right, must have reversed these things. I can never remember if it's the bricks or the smooth stone blocks that go on the bottom. Guess it's the bricks. Maybe I'll remember it this time. There we go. Nice. And since I've um, got a chest here ready, that's cool. All right. So that looks like a nice centerpiece for this room, right? And then we can have, like, you guys. Is that cool? So the centerpiece of the room will be the infusion altar. And then we'll have um, all the stuff on the sides and everything that handle everything else. Just need to figure out then where I'm going to have the, um, the whole refill your wand thing. Maybe the refill your wand thing can go back here. That might not be bad. So yeah, if I put him like right here, right, then it'll be, it's two to each side. One, two, one, two, one, two. That shouldn't really interfere with much. I think that should be all right. It might be a little tight. Do I want to have it be like here? One, two, one, two. And then there'll be, yeah, that might be a little bit better. So let's do that and let's see how it looks. And if I need to, I can always just move it, right? So let's try it out. So this thing should be ready teleport this stuff where I want it to go. And as long as it starts teleporting, it'll mean we have room for it, right? Because it's going to be one, two away from everything. So it'll be right in the corner of the room. That should be fine. Are we ready to teleport? Let's see. What we should wind up with here is just the spinning effect. There we go. Nice. Go. Nice. It's working. How about we'll come back in a minute and hopefully things will work out. Or actually we'll come back in 190 seconds. Hey, everything's gone, so something must have worked. Let's head back to the base and see what's up. Hooray! And we have a lever there randomly. <laughs> that's funny. That came along from uh, that lever was against the wall there. That That's cool, guys. That worked. So let's uh, go ahead and just stick our wand in here and make sure it's going to actually recharge. Looking good. Looks like everything's working the way it should be. Oh, that's awesome. That is cool. Because I really didn't want to have to move all these aura nodes one at a time. That would have been a huge hassle for me. And this makes it all the better. That's nice. 
All right, so let's see here. This guy, I know he drained a bunch of stuff out of you. So as long as we see that these start recovering their aura aspects, like, you know, once these numbers start to go above one, I'll probably feel like, all right, everything's cool. Like, the only other thing that these are supposed to do are they're supposed to recharge their aspects once they've, uh, you know, been drained. So, you know, to make sure it's working, we just want to see them actually recharge, right? So that's cool. We'll come back in a few and make sure that's working. For now, why don't I think about how I'm going to make this room look cool while also uh, filling it back up um, to the way it was, right? So I want to make it look like it did before. Um, so I got to get all the other blocks out of here and start doing the thing. So I'll be back in a few once I've done some boring work, and then we'll do some hopefully fun and exciting work. All right, see you in a minute. By the way, or a node is in the way of where I want my jars to be. So just moved it real quick. Oh, that was easy and cool. Uh, I love it. Um, yeah. So I'm just rearranging my room a little bit, making sure everything's in order. And so far, so good. Now that's going to be that. And then I think I need these guys here. Right? Something like that is how I had it. Yeah. And I have some more to do. All right, guys, so last step here, I'm just setting up this golem, telling him how to behave. So you can go there and there, and you should be able to figure out how to navigate. Cool. Good job. Just wanted to test to make sure that I had everything set up right, that he would have no problems walking around, doing the thing we need him to do. And so far, it looks like he's doing a good job. Good boy. All right, so now that we've got that tested and done, let's see. What else do we have to finish setting up in this room? This is the whole computer craft thing. I'll probably do that off camera and get you a new paste bin because I don't want to work on that on camera. It's going to be a lot of repetition of what I've already done. And, you know, I don't like to do that too much on camera. But for now, it looks like our thong craft room has moved over, so now we can begin decorating it. So let's get started with that stuff. Um, just clean up my inventory, and then we'll do it. So because this is a dark magical room, it's not really dark magic, but yeah, you get the point, right? Uh, what I'm thinking is I could go with this nifty material from Mind Factor Reloaded. Uh, I'm gonna get a few of them here and we're gonna try it out and see how it looks. Now you guys know, I'm not the king of making stuff look cool. So I'm doing my best here, but you know, I'll definitely welcome feedback from anybody who's interested in letting me know what they think. So let me get started playing around with this. Let's try it out. How does it look if I just splatter it around the floor here a bit? Doesn't look half bad, right? How am I already done with it? All right, cool. Luckily, I have a lot of squid dye and stuff. Come on now. Don't misbehave on me. All right. So let's get this guy swapped. There we go. Now we're talking. Um, I don't really want... There we go. I'm not done yet. I'm not just making this black flooring. I'm going to try something a little bit fancier than that. Don't worry. Let's see. Can I just... Yeah. The want of equal trade is the best at doing something like this. Cool. Nice. All right, so now what we're going to want to do What I'm thinking of doing, guys, is something like this. You ready? Let's see. Let me just get the rest of this floor done. Fix this wall a little bit. So what I'm thinking is then what looks really cool with black typically, from what I understand, and you guys who are good at colors can probably correct me and tell me I'm totally wrong. Uh, let's see. How am I for sand? 
Believe it or not, I don't have as much as I thought. You know what I should have, though? Yeah, no, it's all in a barrel. That's why it's just not representing. So let's do this. If I were to get a bunch of sandstone and some zombie flesh, I think this will work. No, it might need to be smooth sandstone. Let's see. Yeah, now we're talking. So let's do this, and we'll put away all our smooth, our regular sandstone. What I'm going to do is combine this with this. Cool. And then there should be a way to turn this into bricks. Ah, just by themselves. Cool. Right? Let's try this out. How would this look in like a checkerboard kind of pattern, right? So what if we went like something like this? You guys can let me know what you think. Give me some comments and stuff and let me know. So let me do this. This is unfortunately a little bit tedious and you probably don't want to watch me do this for the rest of the episode. So I'll be back uh, once I'm done and we'll see what it looks like. Cool? See so guys, that's kind of what I'm talking about. That doesn't look bad, right? I think that looks kind of cool actually. Um, so let's see, I should probably also have that one. That looks neat, right? See, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not succeeding, but I'm trying. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking some more candles and maybe some nitor. How am I for nitor? I know I should probably have some over here. Ah, good, I have plenty. So that might look cool as like a lighting source. I would like something really, really dark for the walls and ceilings. Let me see if we can find something that'll match that design idea. How would this look? It's a uh, smooth black stone from Mine Factory Reloaded. So basically the same texture color as that, uh, but instead of bricks, it's a uh, smooth pattern. Maybe. This is a little different material. This is paved black stone. I don't really like the way that looks either, to be honest with you. All right, guys, I think I've found something that might look really cool. I want to try it out, though. I'm introducing you today to the paint mixer. This is some cool stuff, and it comes from Open Blocks. Uh, let's first get ourselves some cyan, yellow, black, and magenta dye. So let's see. How are we for cyan dye? Okay. Got a couple of those. I'll get six of each. How's that sound? Yellow, how about flower? Do we have any flowers? Oh boy. So I'm only gonna get four of that, but that's okay. Ink, we'll go with four of each then. And then uh, magenta dye. So I guess that's purple. Oh, I see. I really need to get more flowers, huh? Alright, that'll do for now. So if we insert all these dyes into here, you can see it uses up the dyes to fill up the internal bucket. What you can do is you can pick almost any color in the rainbow. You can see there's tons of colors available here. Like, I don't know, whatever the huge number of colors there is. Is it 16 million? I have no idea. And you can actually numerically type in your numbers if you know what they are. So I'm going to go with uh, straight up zeros, and that'll give me the blackest black available. Um, then all I need is a paint can. So let's see, paint can. Uh, let's see, I am not terribly sure how to craft paint cans, because NEI is not telling me. So paintbrush, we can see here, the paintbrush from open blocks, not terribly hard to make. Let me get a paint can. That explains why there's no recipe for paint can. I remember how this works now. You need a milk bucket. Luckily, yoink, I have one. So we grab a milk bucket and we stick it in the mixer. And we tell it to mix us some paint. And we can do any color we want, obviously. Uh, I'm going with the straight up all zeros, which should be a nice dark black. And that should be cool. So once this progress bar finishes here, what we should have is something cool. I wonder, I'm not sure if I can swap canvas 
Uh, not looking like I can, so that's not cool. Probably because it's a tile entity or something crazy funky like that. So I might have to manually replace this stuff. That won't be a terribly fun time, but at least it'll allow for me to do some neat stuff. Um, so there's a couple options here too. All right, looks like the paint can finished mixing, and now we've got the paint can. You'll see on the tooltip here, by the way, the number. So if you find a color you really like, write down that number, and then you can just type it in here. It's obviously hexadecimal, so it's uh, letters A through F and, the, and a number there. Uh, so let's see, we just place this paint can down, dip our paintbrush into the paint can, and boom. That's kind of cool. Now that's neat. I didn't think that we'd be able to, we can paint vanilla blocks, but I thought it would keep the brick texture. So maybe I don't need the canvas. Oh, that's neat looking, isn't it? How cool would a room like completely like this would look? I think it would look neat. Uh, by the way, if you want, you can also get the, I believe it's called the squeegee. And we're gonna need a couple more sponges to get a squeegee. Squeegee, squeegee. And that will remove the paint from a block. So we don't even really need the canvas here. I thought we might, but I guess we don't. I guess it'll just use the vanilla. I thought it would have the texture of the brick, which is why, like, I know I could uh, paint regular old bricks, but I thought it would have the texture of it. So that's neat, because it means I can not have to replace this whole room with canvas. I can just keep this here like that. And that could look really neat. Now, when your paintbrush runs out, you just you know, you can grab another guy. And you'll also discover, by the way, that uh, both the, the paint can itself and the paintbrush have damage value. So you will eventually run out of paint. Uh, so you're going to have to fill it back up. Uh, you can use the paint can as it is instead of a milk bucket there. Uh, you can also overwrite the exact colors that you had. Obviously, we used more black ink uh, than we used. We didn't use any of any other color. So that's cool. Um, let's also look at one more nifty gadget. Stencils. I can't get any more stencil. I know I can get a stencil. There was a way to craft stencils, but let me check them out. All right, there we go. Unprepared stencils. I'll grab a few of them. Um, and then drawing table is what I'm looking for. There it is. Open blocks drawing table, of which I have almost nothing that I need. So let's get bunch of wood should have access to my wood you would think there it is drawing table gonna work now for me cool I just need a sketching doohickey and a couple of these unprepared stencils and what I can make now, I'm going to put it over here for now just as a temporary thing. Drawing table. Cool. Uh, so I can go ahead and choose what pattern I want to have. And there's a bunch of nifty patterns you can get. Uh, obviously some really nifty ones. I'm going to go with the creeper face because who doesn't like a good creeper face pattern? And what you can do is let's get ourselves another milk bucket real quick because this will be neat. To, well, let's try it on just regular old brick. Uh, you'll be able to get an idea of how this works if I just yoink. And then I think I just right click, shift right click. Oh, cool, right? So what you can do is you can paint onto the brick there and I can squeegee it off if I want. But if I had two different colors like red on black, I could do some pretty nifty designs in here. So let me try and figure that out. Maybe between this episode and next, I'll come up with what I'm gonna do for the walls in here. Would it look really cool to have just totally black walls? Like this is what the wall would look like. It almost looks like I'm looking out into the void. Um, that might look really neat for this magic based room theme that I have going on here where it almost looks like an infinite room kind of. Um, but we'll see. I mean, we'll come up with something cool. Hopefully it'll look good. I don't know. I'm not good at the making things look cool, but give me some feedback in the comments here. How'd you like this episode? Did you like my attempts to make things look good? Did I fail miserably and you'd rather me just stick to doing some, you know, really interesting designs with machines and stuff? Or do you like me at least trying to do something cool and fancy looking? I don't know. You let me know and uh, we'll be back next time. Uh, I will find better homes for this open block stuff probably in this room where I'm at right now, which is going to be my main work area. And I'll tidy up this room and make it look cool between this episode next. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.